All right, so who's going to narrate this time? Um, I think it shall be you. All righty, then we'll start with your 90 gallon piece of shit. <laughs> 90 gallon EVR2. We got all these milk crates that I have no idea what he's going to do with. Little manual bins or kitchen bins, office bins, soda crates, yada, 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 kitty pool, bin of scrap metal, bin of uh, that loud stuff that I forgot the name of. Oh, yeah. Glass, glass clear glass. Uh, 25 gallon, I'm not going to say it, uh, manual bin. Here we got this thing, which I think you got from Drew. Right. Drew found it first. Yeah, Drew found it first on the Tuesday route, I think. Well, like Folsom Fool. Yeah, Folsom Fool got this. Actually, no, this says in this. Uh, I don't know his middle name. Me neither. Moving on. It's probably something stupid. Yeah, probably. Like all middle names. So this thing is replacing that thing. Good riddance. Bye. That's still yeah, I know it's still stained, but this one's obviously better. Okay. We got a one of his two auto millenniums for yard waste. He lent the second one out to his neighbor, so obviously I can't show it. Yeah, I can, but do we really do you really want to be doxxed? There might be addresses out there. All right, but this was the citrus one. The other one's the Rancho one, and that's been in there for like how many months? About like one and a half months, I believe. All right, here we got our County of Sacramento Cascade from the one that is here. And yeah. From, uh, I think he got it from one of his drivers or one of his friends. I'm not sure. Probably the same one who gave him that rare rig over there, but that that one came from Drew. Um, full of uh, yard waste. And this thing, his regular one. Oh, it's empty. I wonder what he uses it for. Maybe he uses it for cyclists only. You know, for his bicycles and whatnot. Okay, here we got our 30 gallon wall. Uh, here we got a rake. I should probably put that away. Okay, auto, we'll set that out this week. Toter, we'll set this out this week. Toter, we're definitely setting that out this week. Auto, we're setting that out uh, this week. No. Oh, yeah. Okay, uh, uh, yeah. Yeah, we'll set that out in, in the week leaf week we, we could set up up to 30 gallon carts up to six 30 gallon cart equivalents for no extra charge even though his yard waste driver is super nice and would probably take them regardless uh, also, if we're also if we're gonna put that out this upcoming week you probably should be here at like 5 a.m plan to we'll see about that yeah, we'll see, but I do plan on it. Here we got a cart for a wire that certainly will not be going out anytime soon. Yeah. And here we got my favorite cart in the entire side yard. Elk Grove Gray 30 gallon Blomo Toter. His 90 rare it comes pretty close, but I'd say that one's still the favorite. And yeah, this one's fairly new. Cascade's fairly new. Uh, yeah, I'll show you these, why not? Underneath the kiddie pool, we got a spin and that old school Rubbermaid, the green one. That's pretty old, that's like 70s, I think. And then uh, inside of it is a blue, navy blue bin full of wire and detergent jugs that are still somewhat full. Yeah, then we got, uh, shopping baskets that he finds in the bulky piles and uh, he found them and uh one two three four five six seven food waste pails and i think he's got like three more in his house uh 
All right, uh, damn, five minutes already. Uh, there's a teal one down there. I think that was pretty cool. Have we ever showed that one in the videos before? That was really cool. I just noticed it too. Like, well, as soon as I started doing this update. And uh, we were stacking up his carts. It really didn't take as long as I thought it would, but it honestly looks so much neater now. So let's go through them and see if I remember where I put everything. Okay. R nice, cool manual bin with an absolutely destroyed lid. Uh, oh, it's cracking again. Well, time to haul for that dude. Yeah, I like the bin. It's just a sh bummer. The lid's turned out like this. And here we got, oh, that's how you spell his name. Stop spelling with, with E's. Eyes. Yeah, it's two A's. We got it full of glass. And then these two hunk of junk, Rubbermaid. Stams. Oh. Yeah, I hope he sets those out. See if uh, Corrado can knocks the lids in again. Did, did he ever get that lid out or did he hop Which it? One? Which one? Uh, the one Matt shook in the Corrado can. I don't know which one that was. Did he Probably get it? Probably the 45 gallon. Did he get it out or no? If it's still on the cart, then probably yes. All right. And then we got Citrus Heights, Baby Cow. Uh, he used to have two, but I don't remember where the other one went. Probably got given to someone else. What, maybe one of the sack filmers or the Folsom guy. I don't remember. Or maybe it's down south. Probably the Folsom little shit. <laughs> I don't know if you heard that or not. Wanna say it again? Probably the fulsome little shit. Okay. Uh, we're just joking. We don't mean that. He's still a nice guy. We're just playing. We always do this. Uh, yeah, 30 gallon rag. That's from that's from the fulsome guy. And then an M series lid. And then an M series 60 gallon from the fulsome guy. If uh basically black green 90 gallon toter and we got Drew's favorite pet in here somewhere but Darren stepped on him so he's dead and uh manual bin manual bin wheels wheels lid axle yeah you get the point just parts and then two of these rubber maids with the czar and manual bin inside and next to the lid oh come on shut again oops I did not mean to do that I, don't, I hope I didn't break it Okay, Folsom lid. I'm sure we can guess who gave this to him. Probably someone from Folsom. And then this thing, which has two nice condition toter lids. Nice. And a nice condition roto lid. Whoopsies. I'll deal with that later. And then one of those, I forgot what's in it. Roto. No, there's no roto inside of that manual bin. Yeah, here we got the nice sticker. I like that sticker a lot. The only thing I don't agree with is uh, that and uh, that. Yeah, recycle the plastic bags, recycle your plastic buckets, so long as they're all plastic, not mixed material. Like the ones the metal handles keep, break, either break off the metal or throw them all in the trash, because that's just mixed material. You're gonna contaminate them. So we got three, 60, I mean a 90, EVR 2s for recycle, and the one on bottom is the soda. And the one in the middle is the one that got almost hoppered by Bulky. I mean, technically, they, the two on bottom both almostly got hoppered by Bulky. And then 360 EVR 2s for trash. This one's the nice lid is in the middle. We have a Schaefer lid on top. I think we shoved a manual bin inside that one. I don't know if I can get the camera to see it or not. I don't remember if there's anything else though. All right, stack of toter lids. Stack of toter lids. Uh, whoop, shit. Uh, 40 RRS, RRS, and uh, third toter. Is anything in the toter? I don't know if there's anything in that toter. Is there anything in the toter? Yeah, pretty sure no. Okay. And then here we got the cool lids, turnkey RMI, uh, nice condition 90 toter. That one just kind of fit in there for some reason. And then his original millennium lid, a condor recycling turnkey that he tried to make a worm bin. 
with this thing in it, that with balsam crap in it, and citrus, and citrus. The lid to his NB Railroad that I like a lot. It's like my second favorite card of his. Yes, I actually do like your NB Railroad. Sticker. Oh, sorry. But to clarify, I only like 90 gallon NBs. The 60s are awful. Especially the counting ones. And then we got our. Oh, did I share the lid? We got our uh, fake Citrus Heights carts. That's actually a Monterey disposal cart for trash. Quote unquote. Yeah. Quote unquote. But John didn't understand that and he dumped it as recycle and broke the lid. <laughs> kidding, kidding. That was an accident. Two shitty Citrus Heights toter lids. Oh, and then that toter lid, 30. And then lid, lid, manual bins, kitchen bins, crap bins, hefty bin. There's a lot of bins and parts in this one. That thing's about to fall off any day. Can't put that on top to protect the sticker while it's stuck here. And there's NB rubber, goes across the street at the neighbor's house. It's lending them out. Is there anything I have not showed yet? Um. Is there anything inside the brute? Um, I know for a fact that there's nothing in that. Okay. It's like, yeah. Hmm. Oh, there's Universal in his room, but we're not showing that. Per the usual. Same with a Lewis crate. From Elk Grove. Alright, say bye. Bye.